just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Hello everyone. So yes, I know. I know it's been a while. Do you guys remember who I am? It's been maybe three weeks. Um, yeah, I am okay. Everyone's doing okay. Um, they have been a few things that has been going on. I will do an update video soon. Um, actually the next video you see after this will probably be an update video. I vlogged here and there over the last few weeks and I was just going to delete the footage but I'm like no why don't I just show it to you guys anyway let you guys see what we've been up to and then start fresh. You guys know I did have surgery and even though I was doing fine I'm still doing fine I am okay I was just I don't know I needed to recover from that so I took a break so yeah I am going to show you guys what we have been up to so you guys are gonna go back a little bit and then after this video you will be all caught up hello everyone it is Monday and just checking in with you guys because I haven't picked up the camera all day I think it's like 4 30 maybe and I'm just relaxing enjoying my last day home before I have to go back to work and then work two days off on the 4th of July and then one day and then the weekend so looking forward to the weekend again that way I can relax some more you guys seen the show what if on Netflix with Renee Zellweger Zellweger Zell Renee Zellweger however you say her name she's in there and it's really good it's not for kids that's for sure so no little ones watching but it's really really good if you guys have seen it tell me tell me what do you think I'm only on the third episode right now so I'm very curious I want to know what went on and I won't give any spoilers if you guys are planning on seeing it but yeah it's really good you should go watch it so it's Wednesday and I took another day off work for the surgery. I don't back, go back till Friday actually. We're in Daiso in, what's the store? I mean, Delta Shore. Daiso, is that how you say it? He would chew on that. I think his feet are too big for those socks. And it's just Savannah and I. And I said I wasn't gonna get anything, but then yet we have a basket full of stuff. Y'all, them shoes look like styrofoam, like it's gonna break and Savannah wants them. They're four bucks. So we are going into Hobby Lobby next. I am looking for one thing. Savannah got on her hot jacket. Um, it says Southside Serpents from Riverdale. She thinks she's a part of the gang. <laughs> I know I like saying that though. So we spent like over an hour <laughs> in Hobby Lobby and I finally won Savannah over because now she likes Hobby Lobby. And next we're going to PetSmart because Boston needs to eat. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this. I am starting to paint these cabinets here. And when I am done, it's going to be, I know it looks white on the camera from how I'm looking at it, but it is cream. So this is the first coat and of course I didn't finish the cabinet over there. I'm going to finish that one also. But Hello everyone. It is Wednesday. Nope, it's not Wednesday. It is Thursday, July 4th and I am off work today because um, it's the 4th and I go back tomorrow after being off like a week and a day from my surgery. Something like that. Yeah. So anyway, right now I am going to just go run a few errands and I'm waiting on Savannah and Boston to get in the car it is so hot in here oh my gosh I finished painting the dining room cabinet and the one in the hallway and I got a few decorations today when we went out earlier from Hobby Lobby I am so excited because my kids hate Hobby Lobby right when I very first went into that store it was like oh and I was literally in there two hours and they kept bugging me and this was a while ago when the store first came to Sacramento so now 
I am so happy because Savannah is in love with the store. She's like, Mom, what was I thinking? This store is amazing. So every time we go now, she grabs her own cart and see you in three hours. <laughs> and she literally finds stuff for her room. She found stuff for her room today. And here she comes with Boston. Come on in, Boston. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Give me that bag. Stranger Things season three is now on Netflix. Look, Savannah's shirt, if you guys can see it. Oh yeah, it's Stranger Things shirt. Stranger Things shirt. Yeah, see it. No, see it. Okay. okay, let's go. So back at home, and you guys, I am finished painting these cabinets. I am so happy. This weekend, my dining room is gonna be done as far as painting. I was kind of going for, even though you really can't tell on the camera, the rustic, kind of rustic farmhouse look kind of worn and usually with this light lighter colors with this kit you have to apply like three or four layers just to make sure you cover everything but as i was painting i discovered that huh if i do two coats then i'm going to achieve the look that i want and i don't know if i zoom in if you guys can tell how uh, i can't tell through the camera but if you're in my house <laughs> You can tell that it looks kind of worn. This is the only side where I gave it three complete coats before I realized <laughs> that it was going to do what I wanted it to do. Come on, why is it so blurry? Okay, focus. Okay, because everything was white, that's why. And it's blurring again, okay. Okay, maybe I could show you on these cabinets here. So, I don't know if you can tell, but see how it's kind of like not covering the surface completely. The paint's not completely solid. This is two coats. And when I did this, I'm like, oh, I'll just stop right there and I'll keep it at two coats. Hey, Boston. Say hey to everybody. Say hi. So that's what I did. And I just put the top protective glaze on. So if you can tell that it's really shiny right now because it is and it's still wet also let me show you guys this so i'm in love with this savannah is like it's ugly but do whatever you want to do which i did i bought some knobs and pulls for the um cabinet right behind me <laughs> that we put the towels in and she doesn't like it but it has that old weathered look so bought two of these two pulls because I have the two drawers and then four of the knobs because there's four of the cabinets so I personally like them so I'm gonna put that on once the cabinets dry I'm so excited Boston where are you Boston y'all he's a little skittish because of the fireworks and he's been roaming the house like pacing back and forth I think next year you know we should next year we should get that anxiety um it's an anxiety yeah, for, um like, fireworks or like stuff like that yeah because poor thing he was just like going crazy there was the datas we could have got him but they're for like dogs it's like no what there was like there was like medicine there it was like to sedate the dogs. did you say sedatives Sed <laughs> sedatives yeah, but I don't want to sedate him. Yeah, we'll try that um, anxiety blanket next year because poor thing, he was he really like, going like crazy. Right there and it makes him feel like they're being like held. Held, yeah, he was whining. We had to crate him for a long time. And I'll show you guys tomorrow what I was doing, the reason why I didn't vlog a lot today. And yeah, I'm proud of how the dining room is turning out. And we're but, almost done with Stranger Things. Yes, we are on the last episode of Stranger Things. It took us 24 hours, really. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Because Savannah was so nice to watch it again because I fell asleep last night when it came on at midnight. And I went ahead and watched three whole episodes. <laughs> yeah, I seen like 30 minutes of the first episode that I fell asleep. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, y'all, happy Friday. I am at work. Back again after almost a week and a half. You know, a week and a day or something like that. So, a lot of the workers' cars are not here but the manager's car is here. So I'm going to go in and see what's going on. No, well that's because I don't have
have a better place to put it. I mean, I could put it up here, but it's gonna shake. I have this little thing that I put you guys on sometimes, but I haven't done it in a while. What? No, you're recording. Yeah. Anyway. Whoa, look at that light. I know, they That's made nice. a different way instead of in the, um, yeah. We're just talking about stuff and you guys are probably like, what are they, what's going on? Anyway, it's Savannah and I, and we are on our way to Ikea. I've been off work four hours now. <laughs> this one, I have not been home. I, well, I've been home to pick her up, but I have not gone in the house. This one has me roaming around. Let's go here, let's go there. No, not really. It's basically me. But we're on our way to Ikea just to see what we can get. I am slowly like doing my dining room. Oh, I can go. Oh, no. It's one car. You could have went. Oh. <laughs> you guys, I have been so scatterbrained lately and not really like focusing on anything. And I really haven't been vlogging a whole lot. And I'm sorry. I always say I'm sorry, but then I never do anything to change it. <laughs> We're at Ikea. So I have made it home. I am so tired. I've been out all afternoon after work. Um, I only came home to pick Savannah up, didn't even step foot in the house, and started running errands. And I'm happy with how my dining room is turning out. I'll show you guys in a minute, but I wanna rest for a little bit. Actually, I need to upload a video because I have not uploaded a vlog for a while. And yeah, and you guys know me, when I do stuff to my house, Sometimes I do it quick and I execute it and I get it done. Sometimes I just have to be in the mood to do it. And that's how it is with the dining room. I have to be in the mood. And then also, remember a while back I told you guys I was working on a project in my room and I haven't showed you guys and I'm still not gonna show until it's completely done. But I may start on that a little bit tonight as well because I'm in the mood. So yeah, why not? Look at Boston. I think he likes the coolness of the floor because lately he's been laying and sleeping on the floor instead of his bed. Do you guys have dogs that do that? Do your dogs sleep on the floor? Yes, I'm talking about you. Do your dogs rather sleep on the floor or in their bed or in your bed? All right, you guys, so I wanna show you what I've done so far. I have not put the knobs on yet, but I will. So because this is painted and I don't want it to chip, I put this mesh covering right there. It doesn't look bad. It's not laying down flat because it was on a roll. So the idea I had in my head is not really working. So for now, I'm just gonna leave this on until I figure out what else to do because we do put things on here. And like I said, it is paint. And even though I put a sealer over it, I still don't want it to chip. So this is it. It's completely done except the knobs. And you guys, let me show you this. All right, so ignore all this. Anyway, I'm excited to show you guys the dining room so far. It's not completed yet, so ignore this. And Savannah's bike is still in here. We're actually gonna move it out to the garage tomorrow. But let me show you guys what I have done so far. I am so in love with my dining room. Okay, so it's still a work in progress. So I finished the cabinets over here as well. And I do not think I'm gonna get the knobs over here because we actually rarely use these. I mean, we have things in them, but we don't go in here often. And the reason why we put knobs on and everything because it is a lighter color, oils from your hand, if your hands are dirty, it would you know, smudge this. So I think for now, at least, I'm gonna leave this like this. It may change later, but for now, I'm going to leave it as it is. It <sighs> almost tripped. This is a work in progress, you guys, so ignore all of this. And like I said, when you guys see the bike, ignore the bike. Look at this, you guys. Look how I have decorated this. So these right here, I got at Hobby Lobby, and I really like it. Um, it just has a bunch of different sayings on it, Paris and the Eiffel Tower, and I just really like it. But I think if I'm going to do that here, I need something bigger. So what do you guys think? And I actually think I'm going to get another one of these to have it go the full length. 
of this. And right here again is that mesh, I don't know what you call it, that I put on here. It doesn't look too bad if I can get it to stay down completely. So um, yeah, and this you guys, I am so proud of my handiwork. This was actually like chocolate brown, like really dark brown. But the same paint that I use on here, I use to paint this. And this right here, these candle holders, this was brown as well. Let me turn it around. And I painted over this. Um, it was brown and then in here where the flowers are, if you guys can see the pattern, it was lighter brown. A little part where it didn't get painted all the way. So yeah, that and then I just bought some white rocks. I actually got this at a thrift store for five bucks. So when I seen it, I'm like, this will be perfect. And I was debating whether I should spray paint this white because I do have metal spray paint, whatever, but I don't think it looks that bad. And then I got some tea light candles from, um, where did we go today? Oh my goodness, Ikea and these actually smell like, I don't know, let's find out. It is, oh my goodness, it does not have this. Oh, <laughs> the picture's right here. So it's like peaches and oranges, and it smells really good. Like I said, it's everything is a work in progress. It's not finished yet completely. It looks like a whole different dining room. I really like this, you guys. Okay, and this, look at this. Okay, so the curtains I got from Ikea, I've had the curtains a while, I just, decided to put them on now and then I went to Joanne's fabric store let me get around this light so you guys can see it okay so I went to Joanne's fabric store and I don't know if you guys remember and if I can find a picture of how this looked before I will insert the picture so you guys can see but this right here this swag when I bought the house the previous owners left all the window treatments on the whole house so it was green because remember the walls were green so yeah i just got one to match that and at first i don't know what i was thinking you guys yesterday i bought some material from hobby lobby that was like really dark chocolate brown and even though it was pretty when i got home and put it up i'm like this is hideous this I don't, what, what am I doing? I'm trying to brighten things up, not make them darker. So anyway, yeah. And I actually think I'm going to, not tonight because I'm tired, get back up there and like, just fluff it out more or make it even. Cause I think that's hanging a little bit lower than that one. I don't know, just make it a little bit better. And I don't know if you guys can tell, let me zoom in. But I also bought and they're fake, of course, because you guys know me. Some succulents. So I have one there. There is one there in the middle and one right there. And then the curtain rod. Look at this curtain rod. I'm so in love with it. Let me zoom in on it. I got this from Amazon for like $17. And everything matches so well. I'm so in love with this. So let me show you guys this again from the other side. It's kind of hard for you guys to see it because the light is in the way, but so far you guys, I am really liking how everything is turning out. And what I'm going to do tomorrow is, I don't have anything left to climb on, so this can finally be put away. Savannah's bike is going to go in the garage. I'll figure out what to do with all of those because, you know, it doesn't go in here. So if you see right there and right there, I still have paint that I need to clean up. I should have cleaned it up the day that it happened. Now it's going to be worse because it's dried. And even on the baseboards over there, I have to clean the paint up. But other than that, this part is done. And see, there's a ledge up there. So I am also going to put... I don't know what I'm gonna put up there. Probably nothing right now. So yeah, I can start working on decorations. Um, I'm working completely backwards. I know a lot of people get their dining room table first and then work that way. I'm gonna get my dining room table last because I'm kinda dead set on the $2,000 one that I want, but I just can't see paying that much, I told you guys. So it's not, I'm not in a big hurry to get a table. 
because I want what I want. And until I find something that looks as nice as the table that I want. Yeah, so what my plan is, I plan on getting a buffet table to put right there and I'm gonna decorate it and maybe a, what do you call it, a mirror right here or something, I don't know. Then of course the table is gonna be here, it's gonna be a rug. I'm gonna get some kind of decoration right there, maybe a huge clock. And then in that corner right there, I haven't decided if I wanted to, hi Boston, he's following Savannah around. I don't know what I'm gonna do in that corner yet. I may just put a chair there that no one sits on that you know how you decorate a chair with a pillow or something like that. Or I seen these, and it may sound crazy, but I seen these metal gates. They look kind of Tuscan looking or whatever. That's the only thing I can is describe it. And I seen one picture and it was just like, in the corner there so I don't know or maybe I'll get one of those things that looks like a ladder and you lay stuff on I don't know you guys so I am this was the main part that I was worried about getting done the paint hi Savannah the paint <laughs> and getting the cabinets taken care of and that's done so yeah what do you guys think I think it's coming along pretty well so I'm in Savannah's room and she wants me to help her put up this, um, what do you call it? Wall lettering. How I got some lettering on my wall. Let me show you guys. Okay, this is above my bed and you guys see how I have that there. I got that from Hobby Lobby and Savannah got one as well. I'll show you. This is hers. It says, in the morning when I rise, give me Jesus. And so like I said, she wants me to help her put it up but when she says help her, she means mama do it. And look, look at her lights. She got that also. And then the lights from Hobby Lobby, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the dream catcher she got from Hobby Lobby as well. And I really like how she's setting up her room. Look really nice, Savannah. <sighs> do I really have to do this? Yeah. I don't wanna. Okay, so see what I want is. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys, It it's up. It was a booger putting this up. I remember now why I said I'm never doing this again and she had me doing this. So it's up. Actually, the print was semi-easy. It was the cursive that gave us trouble and it's still not completely flat in some areas, but I don't want to mess with it. But then yet, we need to push it down to make sure it stays. So, and then she has her lights on. And then, I didn't show you guys this. Well, she has this board, and she can write anything she wants on it. So right now, she chose to write Stranger Things 3. Her little perfume thing right there. <laughs> and then right here, she has a, is it a salt lamp? It's a crystal rock. And Himalayan salt It's a salt lamp. rock. I think it's a salt rock. It's not a yeah. crystal. So I decided that I'm going to put the handles on and the knobs on tonight. So next time you guys see this, it will be on. Let's do this. Okay, so here we go, the finished product. And I know this looks whiter than this. It is a, a little bit, but it, this is still cream, you guys. I promise you it's still cream. So it's on here. And then I put the pools on here. And it's kind of uneven, kind of wopsided. But you know what? It's okay. It goes with the old, what am I trying to say? The vintage look or the rustic look or whatever. So yeah, I need to figure out how to get this thing to lay down flat. So yeah, you guys, what do you think? Do you guys like it? Well, if you don't like it, is it still okay? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday and I am working on that project in my room that I'm not gonna show you guys now but I'm sure some of you guys, you guys are really smart. I'm sure you guys will figure out what I'm doing. So yeah, I just wanted to open up the blog, say hello, but get back to work because this will take me um, probably pretty much all day. Whew, y'all, it is 9.30. I'm just now picking up the camera again. Oh my goodness. Y'all, this project that I'm doing in my room is turning out so good but it's just exhausting because I'm not a professional. I'm just doing what I 
learn on YouTube and Googling it. So I'm doing a pretty good job, but when I was almost done, I was mentally done. And when I get like that, I know how I am and I'll just end up messing things up, trying to hurry and get it done. I just got to a place where I was able to stop and now I'm taking a break from it. So I probably won't get back to it. I don't know, until another four, <laughs> six weeks. I don't know, it just depends on how I feel. When the moment strikes me, I'll go for it again. But right now, I don't even wanna do what I'm doing right now. But I'm gonna finish. I haven't eaten anything today, you guys. And that's not good, I know. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna waste away. But I had coffee this morning and I drank like water throughout the day. But did I eat? I haven't eaten anything because I really wanted to get this room taken care of. So we are home from church, you guys. It is Sunday. Um, hey, Boston, say hi. Say hi to everyone. Hi, what? 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 He's so cute. Oh, look at him, you guys. He's so cute. Anyway, so we are just here, Savannah. If that's your name? Savannah and I is just us. Cheyenne is at her friend's house and Tariq is out skating. So it's just Savannah and I and we are finding something to eat for dinner and then we're gonna watch a movie on Netflix and that's about it. Nothing exciting. I asked him how young or early young kids he seen and he me infants. So Savannah and I are at the college, one of the colleges and she has a meeting with a counselor. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Okay, anyway. What was that? I want to hear it. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait for one second. It's starvation, okay? It's a comedy show. And it takes okay. Well, I want to talk to them. From starvation. It does. If she skips her lunch, she might go a little hungry. Okay, I don't want to get copyright Boston. strike. Anyway, we are waiting on Tyree. Right here. And I'm so done with this week. I'm so happy um, that this week is over. You're, he's camera shy. I think you're camera shy at the moment also. This week started out really, really bad. It was scary. So Sunday night, was that Sunday night? It was just Savannah and I home and we were making our way to the back to go to bed. All of a sudden we are walking down the hallway and the alarm goes off. So it's just Savannah and I home, mind you. I start panicking, Savannah is scared as well. And I'm waiting to hear some kind of big bang or window breaking. And I let the alarm go off for a while, thinking okay, if someone's trying to break in, the alarm will scare them away, right? And then when I did finally go to turn the alarm off, it said number three, like each zone and area that the... <laughs> each zone and area that the um, alarm, like the front door, the back door, the sliding glass door, the bedroom window. This one said three. Eight. Okay, kids are so rude. I'm not taking too long. Okay, I was explaining to them in case they don't have an alarm and don't know. Get to the point. Anyway, so it said number three, which was the side gate. So I'm like, okay, the side, not the side gate, the side door no, in the garage. Gate. It says something. Yeah. Anyway. You keep saying door and it's annoying me. Would you quit gate. an would you quit annoying me, <laughs> number one, and quit correcting hey, me? Hey, 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 Kids, I tell you the truth. Hey, we were like, okay, it's the side door in the garage. Somebody tried to break in there and tried to get in. Do you want to tell the story then? Go, mama. You're okay, then quit unfair. interrupting me. I did I interrupt you. You interrupted me like five times. Anyway, so I don't know why I did this, but I called Tyreek first before I called 911 because I was still shaking. And so I told Tariq, I said, the alarm went off. I think someone tried to get in. Can you come home? Okay, so he said, okay. And he was home in like literally five minutes. But while we were waiting on him to come home, I'm like, you know what? This is stupid of me to wait on Tyreek, send my son into battle. So I dialed 911 and I told him what happened. After I turned the alarm off, I rearmed the alarm because I went to every window and door in the house and, it wouldn't, and nothing the alarm was broken. Would, I mean, The alarm won't arm if the door's open, so. That's true. The alarm won't arm like if the 
side door in the garage was open. The alarm wouldn't rearm. So we're like, why did this alarm go off? You know, somebody had to have yeah, tried to fluke. break it, break in. And so Savannah's like, well, um, it could have been a fluke. So we're waiting on the officer to get there. I stayed on the phone with the dispatch because she said, I can tell in your voice, you're really afraid. I was shaking. I was, I was she afraid. She was more scared than anybody. You was afraid too. Okay, at first, but then I was like, so scary. Anyway, so the police officer got there, which mind you, he was very cute. <laughs> Thank oh you. I don't even, I didn't even catch his name. Really? I you were the first one who said that. Yes, I know. But okay, like, so I can't tell them. We thought I will he was cute. I'll remember him. I'll never forget him. <laughs> You'll never forget him. We don't even know his name. So anyway, he checked in the backyard. He like said that. the my backyard gate was unlocked, which we untampered keep it unlocked, with. untampered with. It did not look like anyone tried to break in. No one was in the shed, so everything looked clear. So he said, which was nice of him, he said, um, he's going to cancel it. That way I won't get charged. Cause I see he's seen that I was clearly shaken up and I'm not calling just because, you know, they ran McDonald's ran out of nuggets. chicken nuggets. <laughs> Did you guys hear about that? Years ago, a lady called 911 on McDonald's cause they ran out of chicken nuggets. Look. <laughs> Okay, Ew. that's disgusting. <laughs> anyway, so that scare happened. Oh, I didn't tell you about this. So then Monday on my way to work, I'm driving to work and I'm going about 40, 45 down the street, right? And this family of ducks, the mama duck and all these baby ducks behind her just sauntering across the road. Well, I looked at my mirror and I couldn't get over so I had to slam on my brakes the mother duck just takes off and flies and the first baby duck he flew backwards he I don't know if it was a he or she I didn't know ducks can fly backwards first of all but you know ducks can fly <laughs> what oh gosh I thought the ones you see in the sky are like goose or something anyway this duck started <laughs> flying backwards so no I did not hit the ducks <laughs> It did. It started doing this. Aww, I didn't hit the scary. ducks, thank God. But I had my purse on the seat and it flipped upside down and all the contents of my purse just went out into the floor. So when I got to work, I had to um, get all that back in my purse. And then there's three of us in the front that works in the front, right? So when one is on vacation, the other two, like always, well, me and the other receptionist, we take turns opening because the manager, she op opens all the time because she's the first one to leave. Okay, so when she's on vacation. So let me tell you how petty they are. They do this not only to me, but to each other in the back. I don't think I told you this either. But when one somebody calls in in the back or when somebody's on vacation, when somebody's sick, anything, they get mad because sometimes the work does roll over and you have to do a little bit extra work when somebody's on vacation or gone, right? So they get mad and so after somebody call in, they'll call in or something like that. So you guys know I've been out from work a week prior for uh, my surgery. So when I got back, I was told, oh, you have to open every day because the other girl, she can't open at all the whole week. And usually me and her, when the manager's on vacation, we take turns, we work it out. I'm like, this petty heifer. So I had to be to work every day this week at 6.30. That's why I've been leaving early. And I didn't say anything to you because I'm like, you know what, whatever it is, what it is, and I'm just, just gonna do it. And if you guys are wondering if I haven't left there yet, why I have not left there yet is because I know when these two doctors retire and Dr. Gray is there permanently, things are gonna change. I know this. So that's the only reason why I'm holding on because the people where I work now, none of them are bosses. My boss is Dr. Gray. So I'm Dr. really Dr. Gray. Okay, just just be quiet. I'm talking just be now. quiet. So anyway, I <laughs> like that one time we went to Disneyland and then you like said how old we were. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, okay, you know what? Just just stop. You talk too much. That's your problem. Can you stop talking? I'm done. <laughs> anyway, I have had a long and stressful week. I'm so tired. I'm glad the week and is over with. On top of that, we don't even have Wi-Fi. On top of that, our Wi-Fi went out. Something's going on with the router, and of course they try to do all kinds of, you know, tests, whatever, on their end. And I already told you guys we got crappy internet, so they're not able to come out until Monday. So first world problems, we don't have internet until Monday. So we've been watching a bunch of movies and 
all that stuff so yeah and actually we are in the, we are in the middle of watching one of my top five faves the count of monte cristo and this girl is finally watching it because it's amazing i watched it before i just didn't know what was going on because i was like two you were actually maybe like seven mm, i i watched it a lot when you guys were younger exactly yeah all right it's hot i hope he hurries up come on I didn't talk for what, 10 minutes almost. What I forgot to tell you guys about the alarm is we think that when Tyreek left to go skating, he accidentally set it to away, which means that my sensor, when we walked down the hallway, it turned on. Now, the reason why I said number three, which was a side door, I don't know, but we think the sensor, no, we think the alarm was accidentally set to away. So when we walked down the hall, the motion detector made it go off. I don't know. Can't explain it. Thank God nobody really was trying to break in. So, yeah. Look what Savannah does to this poor little dog. And he just takes it. What dog have you seen that will wrap up in a blanket? Savannah. <laughs> and it's Saturday, by the way. We are watching How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Because Savannah has never seen it. So, I have been looking for a buffet table and I found a few on Amazon that are really nice. I found some on Overstock and whatever. So I do have a few ones that I do want to get. However, you know how you go on Facebook and there's the marketplace where people sell their items? Well, I seen two that are really cute. Well, one has potential. Y'all know I'm handy with a paintbrush so I could just paint over a few scratches that I seen she's not really responding to me it's weird because I see that she's seen the message but she hasn't responded I've been slowly looking for other things outside of dental um, but I need to redo my resume so what I mean I'm tired of dental I just don't want to go get some side job anywhere because dental is my that's my career right and I got about another 20 years of working so I'm thinking like either a state job or at Kaiser or Sutter Hospital where the benefits are way better than anything they can give you in dental so that's what I'm going to do because I'm just tired of dental I'm not Dr. Gray because he has not shown me that he is this way, but I'm tired of doctors, you know, pretty much because they own the practice, they can do whatever they wanna do. And then sometimes also, I've worked with doctors who are not very ethical and they will push crowns on people who would only need a filling or just say something that isn't needed. And yeah, they're the doctor and they, diagnose the problems but being in the field for so long you meaning me <laughs> learn how to read the x-rays and you see sometimes okay well this decay is not that deep so it doesn't require that a lot of the reasons why people don't want to go to doctors mind you not all dentists are that way they are not i have worked with some excellent conservative doctors who are not in it for the money they made money yes but they were there for their patients they you can tell they loved what they do if you were wondering why did i stay at places like that well probably because the pay wasn't that good or maybe it wasn't that great of benefits or anything like that so this one doctor and oh my gosh i loved him i was there five years and then he started letting his wife take over the practice and she started taking away some of our benefits because they wanted a second house and a fourth car and a boat and I'm like you know what it's not my fault that you guys want all that and then they kept having kids but how was that our fault so once that happened then I left but he was wonderful he was really good to his patients he was good to us the staff but his wife was a hygienist but then she became a stay-at-home mom so yeah he let her take control of the business anyway that's what I'm going to try to do and it's not gonna be anything that happens overnight because I know with the state I don't know if you guys have state jobs in your area but with the state it's a process and I did like create an account and stuff like that so I'm going to slowly start doing that um, a friend of mine, um, he did get a state job. It, it took him like 
almost a year he said he forgot about it and then all of a sudden they called him so I know it's something like that I mean if you know someone on the inside that's different but and actually I may some know someone who works at DMV that I can give a call I don't know anyway so that is my plan for eventually in life cuz I'm, I'm really tired of this hey guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> Hello everyone. That should be copyrighted. What? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, everyone says, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I bet hey someone guys. will try to do that one day. <laughs> what, copyright that? Yeah. You can't copyright words. You Just can like, copyright like a saying. Like, no, Paris Hilton couldn't copyright that's hot. Why would you want to copyright that? That's weird. Anyway, you guys, so it's just Savannah and I, and I know you see things in a so back. so dark. Well, we are in the shade. Once again, children interrupt you when you're talking. I know you guys see things in the back. I will explain about all that later. Y'all, we went to Hobby Lobby and Walmart, but at Hobby Lobby, they're having a 90% off sale and a 75% off sale. So I got a good deal on something back there, but I wanna sh actually show you guys. It's not the cutest, but I see the potential because I am going to paint it. You see at Hobby Lobby, the pillows and like the wall, like frames like picture frames are used 50 percent off all the time yeah i've never seen those full price well i never seen furniture 90 percent off like end tables and chairs and stuff like that 90 percent off too. yeah so we kind of like went crazy there was a lot of like broken cups and stuff in mm -hmm. that area and stuff i was like no wonder why it's a dollar 94 cents <laughs> yeah but i found like 72 cents you what i found like a cup that was 72 cents was it cute Oh. I kind of wanted to get it just because it was 72 cents. That's wasting. So we got a lot of things, kind of, but we didn't spend a lot of money. I know it's kind of hot. Yeah, we didn't spend a lot of money. I didn't spend any money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she didn't spend any money. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, so it doesn't look all that great. The two drawers open. This is what I got to be a buffet table in here. This is not the color I want. You guys know I am handy. I am going to paint it. I turned that upside down because I'm gonna show you guys this. This was originally $199.99. Oh my gosh, Boston. Oh, I thought he was scampering over here. Anyway, this was $199.99 at Hobby Lobby. You guys, you will not believe how much I actually paid for this. You ready? You ready to see this? Because I didn't believe it. I thought somebody put the price tag on the wrong item. $19.99. $20, you guys. I am not kidding you. And also, this mirror right here. This was originally $79.99. So $80. And I got it for 75% off. Look at this. And I'm going to paint this as well. You guys will see the finished product. This is amazing. I'm so happy. Slowly but surely, get the dining room done. I'm excited about the deals that I found at Hobby Lobby. You guys, if you have a Hobby Lobby in your area, you have definitely got to go there, especially if you're into home improvement, decorating, I mean, everything, scrapbooking, um, there's material there. If you sew, Hobby Lobby is a wonderful place. Hobby Lobby is my crack right now. I love that place and I went on the perfect day because I mean 75% off, 90% off, 50% off some things. I mean yeah who knew the area where I found the buffet table a lot of things were cleared out and it was so weird because when I seen it I seen your price $19.99 and it said 90% off they had some things on top of it so I put it to the side of it and I'm like this may not look all that great, but this has potential. I started looking around and I'm thinking, okay, I will stand here. If somebody try to get this, I will pick this thing up and carry it with me to the register. So once they had a lady on the aisle, once she went away, I went to the front and I said, can I have someone help me hold in an item? I don't want to wait until I'm done shopping and come get it because it may be gone. Maybe not. Maybe that's the reason why I was still there because nobody wanted it because everyone thought it was ugly. I don't care. Whatever. I thought it was cute. I see the potential so I am going to utilize my skills so they had someone help me and they wrote my name on it so then I was able to finish shopping 
y'all I'm so excited I cannot wait to paint that and see how it's turning out I can't wait I'm so excited you guys what's wrong with him he's not thirsty why is he licking the crate every one of our dogs have always done that weird ew Leo, I mean, Boston, what are you doing? Why are you looking at me? All right, you guys, so now that you are all caught up in everything that we have been doing, that I have been doing, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.